Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is um, my effort to satisfy the 580 level two uh, teacher credential clearance. And I've created a uh, Moodle database, 580 AR. This is assignment one databases. I'm going to create uh, my database now. And that requires me to create a field. And I've already created a sample database here using Google Google Forms. So I'm just going to take these forms here. Uh, first name, last name, create a question, connected to the text you have read, and question title, question type. And that should be sufficient. So let's, uh, let's go do that. <clears throat> so our first um, first thing we have to do is find our field. There it is. Okay, so uh, Moodle is a basic, okay, it's probably the best of the learning management systems, but uh, I have very strong opinions about it. It's, it's pretty good, but it has some serious shortcomings that cause me no shortage of Problems <clears throat> in the long and the short run. Um, let's see, date stamp, save, date stamp. And you can see I'm going through this pretty quickly. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. First name, all right. Here is my field. Uh, here's one of the fields. Can you create a question connected to the text you that you have read. Now I can be as specific as I need to be, but right now I'm going with generic. Uh, and I will modify that because I can I can copy these databases. Um, I'll do that in a moment. Uh, field, 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 field is uh, text area and field description. I'll just leave that for a moment. <clears throat> um, next area and let's go find out what the next one was and question title All right what did the form say the form said please specify okay please identify Control C click off go here and choose that's going to be multiple, uh, that's going to be, that's going to be, well, we'll use multi, we'll use checkboxes. You may not have seen all of that. Well, it's too late. Um, control V and field description. Okay. Field description. Now we have one option per line. So I have to go back to my form and close this. And edit form. Here's my form. And I actually took these straight from this. So let's go ahead. And this is California. This is California English language arts 1997. It's a little old, frankly. Uh, we're scrolling down, scrolling. We're looking for English language arts ninth grade. Now we're at grade two. I'm just going to page down. Grade four, five, six, imagine, seven, eight, and here's nine coming up. Nine and ten. Okay, so I've chosen, uh, I went with the easy ones. One, 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 two, one, three, three, seven, three, ten, three, eleven, and three, twelve. So I'm just going to copy these right from the standards. Because that's the way it should be done, right? So we go, uh, duck, 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 duck. Where's my form right here? Uh, one per line. So copy paste. Do it, do it gently. Copy, paste, copy. Oh, I don't want all that. Copy. 
paste. That's one, two, one, one, two, one, three. Let's see what else did I get? Which ones did I choose? One, three, three, seven. So we go down to three, seven. Seven, three ten, probably three eleven. Three eleven and three twelve. Okay, so three eleven. Whoops, I want the number in there so they know it. Three eleven and three twelve. All right, so there are my first questions. This is one of the questions, but it's multiple checkbox. So now I've got my checkbox area. So if a student, when a student looks at this, the database itself <clears throat> um, is going to um, be able, we should be able to import directly from this database or to this database. So we'll just go to add entry. And all right, that looks good. Here are all my answers. Now, I'm going to try uploading entries from a file um, because that's going to make it easier for me to distribute these questions or distribute this form to lots of people and reuse that form as much as I can. So let's, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's go see responses. Oh, yeah, see responses. All right, summary, nothing. Spreadsheet, nothing. Again, it produces a spreadsheet instantly, which is nice. Um, but I want to see the form. So where do I go see the form? Docs home. Go check that out. There's my form. Click on it. And now, um, I should be able to load the form and actually use it. Go to live form, bingo. Go to live form. There it is, live form and first name, okay. First name is Dennis, last name is Daniels. Create a question connected to text that I've read. Um, I'm lazy, so I'm going with this one. Chapter 8, I just copy-paste it right from existing questions. No reason to create recreate the wheel. It's already been done. There are a million people have written a million questions. If you feel like you have to write your own, that's fine. Okay, uh, in chapter, okay, Minimus wrote a song that praise, okay, this quote is an example of what literary device. Now, the question is, um, which, which standard does this apply to? So, literal, literal and figurative meanings, no. Denotative, connotative, no. Norse, no. Significance of various literary devices, including figurative, okay, this. That is... A, um, since this is like a sun in the sky, that's simile. This would be imagery, symbolism, etc. We're going to go with that. Submit. And now it's in my spreadsheet. So we'll pause here and come back in a moment. Thank you.